So I didn't do a teardown video because I didn't really have uh, the camera gear for it, uh, but I thought I'd do a video of just kind of a breakdown of what this uh, Merlin at home 1150 uh, at home, uh, what is it called, a patient care monitor. Basically they monitor your uh, implanted pacemaker. Uh, it's designed to be installed beside your bed. Uh, it communicates over RF. The antennas are here. And actually there are two different types of antennas. Up here you can see the uh, the shorter one. That's actually a 2.4 gigahertz uh, antenna and the transceiver for that is here. Uh, and then here is the antenna connector for that 2.4 gigahertz antenna. And what it does um, it can be operated, I guess, on a lower power. So the 2.4 gigahertz uh, radio, I guess it has a 60 to 90 second or something like that uh, timer. Um, and it's kind of like a ping that can be used to wake up the big boy, the, uh, the 400 megahertz antenna. And that's the antenna that's uh, used to transmit uh, statistics about the uh, pacemaker and, and how it's doing. Um, so that's the kind of the communication. That's how it uh, communicates back and forth with the pacemaker. Uh, so that uh, explains those two radios. Up here we have a microcontroller. That's the square one uh, and some flash. And I believe that's a 128 meg uh, flash chip. Uh, I could be wrong about that. And it looks like there's some uh, SD RAM here. Uh, and then up here, it looks like we've got some uh, silicon for dealing with USB, a battery, and just to the left of that battery is uh, crystal for um, probably uh, a clock for the uh, for USB. I'll have to look into that to to confirm. Uh, we've also got a phone jack here, just to the left of the RAM. Uh, that is one of the three ways that this thing calls home or can call home to report back uh, on the the vitals. I guess that's that's probably the wrong uh, word to use. Uh, it reports back the statistics of the uh, pacemaker. So telephone is one. Uh, you can also get a USB adapter that uh, is uh, wireless or Wi-Fi or a SIM so it can do cellular as well. Um, there's some issues with the software that uh, will hopefully be addressed and uh, have been reported to the vendor. Uh, so at some point, hopefully I'll be able to talk about those. So that's kind of a walkthrough of this board. Um, oh, I guess I should talk about the wires that are sticking out of the side here. Uh, so I actually soldered on um, to this debug, transmit, and receive. Uh, and up at the top left-hand corner there is a ground. And that's a UART. So that's a UART console. And it allowed me to uh, actually log into the device eventually. So um, if there's any interest, I'll post a video on uh, how I actually logged into this device using uh, single user mode and, and interrupting the bootloader. So I guess that's it for now. Thank you very much.